Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent sensing consultant. Welcome back to my channel. So I am doing a extremely quick, hopefully, video because my whiff box just came and I want to put this up as fast as possible. We also have a crazy good flash sale going on currently. I don't know if it's gonna be available um, or like still going on by the time this video goes live because things are selling out like crazy. But if you go to the Sensi website, it's like the first thing on the banner. So you'll know if it's still going on or not. But I thankfully got in like right away. Um, I was on my iPad on my and on my phone and the one let me in like pretty, pretty fast. And the other one's wait time was like 25 ish minutes. So I can definitely tell there's a lot of people on the site and you're going to hear Gemma in this video probably. Also look at this cute pillow we have. It has a tail and everything. Okay, so I got my monthly club in, which included my whiff box, which I've unfortunately seen spoilers of. Um, they were posted in my like Sensi, um, not my VAP page, but like my team group. Um, so I'm in a couple like consultant pages. They were posted in there. And so I saw some sneak peeks, unfortunately but what do you do about it? But um, I added in some extra things because I wasn't sure if this would get here first or my holiday order. My holiday order arrived first, but I did add the three pack of the holiday scents. So uh, cranberry, orange cider, maple, vanilla glaze, and swirling snowflakes. I added in all these three just to have another set of them. And also in case this came before my holiday order, I could review them for you guys. I'm currently warming these and they're actually going to be, I'm filming it later today. Um, they'll be featured in my weekly home fragrance roundup, which will go up on Saturday. So FYI, I already smelled through all those. Um, I have some initial impressions, but we'll talk about that in the home fragrance roundup. Um, and then I had a half price item, so really random, but I used it on a room spray in Cranapple Crumble. So I'm just going to like give this a brief Jan is making so much noise I'm gonna give this like a brief spritz oh it smells so good I don't know why I was like nervous it would smell different in the room spray but it smells just as good I'm just I got this one because I'm hoping um I feel like the last time I warmed the wax it was kind of light and I really love the scent so I'm like if I could like help use that to help it out awesome or that's also just an amazing scent to like smell. So if the wax doesn't work out, at least I have the room spray and I got it for half off because I had enough money. So um, I also picked up in the Scentsy Club the two new uh, rugby scents. This was like a totally random under the radar launch, but I only think I've heard one other person talk about these, which was maybe Linda. And I forwarded like through the part where she was talking about these because I didn't want to be influenced. But I know nothing about rugby. And maybe, maybe, um, scented boxes. Maybe she talked about it, but rugby is like in her. <laughs> That's like, you know, we have, um, like NFL and like it's a huge thing. And I'm like, I'm really surprised they launched this here, but whatever. Maybe there's rugby fans that, you know, really want these two warmers and scents. I don't know. Uh, the first one we have is All Blacks, which is a team, assuming. And then we also have the Wallabies, which is also another team. And I guess these are, are in the championship and I don't really watch rugby. Like I've watched it, but I don't actively watch it. Okay. Sparkling Citrus issues a defiant challenge with a rush of cool mint and fur balsam. Like it's gonna be oh awesome that it's black i don't know if i've ever seen a black wax bar that's kind of fun it kind of smells exactly like what i was expecting but also like did i have this in my head it smells like balsam and citrus and like don't kill me but it's like the dirty citrus it's like veering on the edge of men's cologne, but like it's the end of the day. Like he needs a shower. <laughs> I feel like I'm just so mean. I love that it's black, but I don't love the scent of it. Gem is, can you hear Gem in the litter box? She's been in there since I literally started this. Just scratching away. Yeah, this is like, 
I don't want to say it reminds me of Roll the Dice because we all hate that scent, but it's along those same lines where it's like citrusy, manly, woody a little bit. It's not like a fresh men's cologne. It's like he put it on a long time ago, but maybe his clothes that he put on had remnants of a different cologne and they're like mingling, but he also needs a shower. This is like a very specific set. If you like Roll the Dice, you'd probably like this one. It's not like my typical men's cologne go-to. So that one's, mm, I don't know. I'll probably warm that in my bedroom, bathroom. Um, it smells better than Roll the Dice. It's at least tolerable on cold. <laughs> um, and then we have the Wallabies. And is this their, their uh, I don't, I don't know anything about this. Also, it says allblacks.com and rugbyaustralia.com.au. So they really got the promo. I wonder how long they've been like working with this. Like I just have a lot of questions about this collection because it seems like it came out of nowhere, you know? Um, okay, this one. Wallabies. Energized bergamot charges down the pitch supported by sage and cedar wood. I had to guess this one's going to be more of my fave. It's green and yellow. This one's actually kind of good on the top. I kind of like this. It's It has the same cedar wood as Halloween Town, I think. But it's... Halloween Town is like cedar wood and plum and like deep. This is the same cedar wood, but almost like a... Almost a fruitiness, but there's no fruit in here listed but it's like fresh. Bergamot would also be like not fruity. So that's so interesting. I like am really interested by this one. I think this one's actually a winner. I'm going to have to obviously warm those two. This one I could see myself actually doing like maybe in the open concept. Crazy. Uh, this one the men, the man who needs a shower scent, he's going to have to go in the bedroom bathroom. Okay. Let's get into the whiff box finally. Whew, that took longer than it should have, but I just, smelling new scents, you know, you're just like, what are we really picking up here? And am I getting what the notes say I should be getting? Okay, this is fun and fall. Okay, take time this season to elevate the moment. Use this page to create a gratitude list or to make a bucket list of things that will help you stay focused on what matters most, whether you want to carve out some quality time to bake with your loved ones or take a moment to write down something you're thankful for each day. It's up to you. I kind of got caught off guard because this design kind of looks like the design on the bar clove and cinnamon, which there might be clove and cinnamon something in here maybe, but it caught me off guard while I was reading. So apologies. Um, as the seasons change, it's perfect time to look inward, as Cincy co as Cincy co owner Heidi Thompson says. Expressing gratitude elevates the moment. Your October whiff box features festive products from the Harvest Collection to evoke the wonder and excitement that only comes around this time of year, and to remind you of all there is to be grateful for. Okay, paperwork done. Okay, the biggest thing in here and the first thing I see is the Apple and Cinnamon 6 Counter Clean. I'm kind of excited about this. I'm probably going to open this up right away and use it. I'm currently using Cider Mill, which is nice, but I also have Perfect Peppermint that I know I'm going to want to bust out at some point in the future too. So I'm deciding when I should bust this out. Maybe soon. Um... So far, the cider mill's been going okay. I haven't been like overusing it. I haven't been cleaning the bathrooms with it or things like that. Like every single thing I clean, I haven't been using it. I've just been using it like here and there in the kitchen, kind of doing its thing. Um, when I used Autumn Road Trip, I used it everywhere because I was trying to use it up and it totally destroyed the scent for me. So I'm like, you know what? These ones that I like the scent, if I have to carry them over season to season and maybe use them up in the future, but at least I still like the scent, that's okay. I don't want to have an Autumn Road Trip 2.0 with these scents I love. So I'm really excited. I was nervous about this at first, but since Cider Mill's been going okay, I'm kind of glad because I wasn't going to pick this up because of the whole Cider Mill, not Cider Mill, Autumn Road Trip. 
situation, but cider mill has been going okay. So I feel more comfortable having this now. And I don't know how long the harvest collection will stick around, maybe until December 1st, while supplies last, obviously, but things that aren't selling out, will they stay around till December? Maybe, I don't know if that's a guess. Um, and then we also have the Sensi Buddy Child Clip. Kind of fun. Um, obviously they just have extra of these because this isn't very like seasonal. <laughs> um, I wonder if I could gift this to someone who's into Star Wars. He smells kind of good. I mean, he's in the scent air of adventure. I like him it more on him than in the wax. I feel like kind of creeped out because he's like, the tra I'm not a like Star Wars type person. Um, it, he's cute, but sometimes he gives me like heebie jeebies. Like <laughs> sometimes I'm like, you're doing a little bit too much. And I don't know if it's his eyes or, or what it is, but I wonder if I could like give this to someone who's a fan, if I could gift it. Cause he's kind of cute, but like I said, sometimes he just gives me, gives me a weird feeling. I'm not like a super fan of, I mean, I don't, I'm not a Star Wars fan. Um, but I know some people love him, but he kind of creeps me out at like low key a little bit, but, uh, yeah. So maybe I can gift that to somebody. Okay. And then we have some bars. Oh my gosh. We have a bar that's like completely destroyed. She's a little bent, she won't close. Just pop her back out. Okay, so we have a cinnamon buttercream. I love this set. No complaints here, I love that one. Um, and then we have a maple rum cake as well. I also really like this one. It smells so much better on warm than it does on cold. Like on cold, it's like, this is gross. Like it smells like maple and um, not like, exactly like rum but like the remnants like you get almost an alcoholy deepness and then on warm it's like completely transformed and amazing and beautiful but on cold you're like who likes this but it's so much better on warm so i'm glad i have that i guess um we have another bar in here sips of cider i need to warm this one in my open concept it's in my melting basket however new scents just keep coming in so i haven't gotten around to it yet and it's like not my favorite at least on cold. It's like very spicy to me on cold. Okay, we do have clove and cinnamon and the design does match. I knew it. <laughs> and then we also have one more. Oh, we have a scent pack in Farm Sand Pumpkin. Okay, I did know this was in here, but I had forgotten. So um, I'm really curious about this because I don't love it in the wax. I'm, I have it also in my melting basket to retry. Um, but I wonder if in the scent pack, anything different comes out about it. And then I'm so excited. We have the scent cup again for this next month. So um, actually for consultants, scent of the month's kit, scent of the month kits process really soon uh, in only a couple of days. And they've already processed in Canada actually. So good timing to finally have this. It's sweet orange and evergreen. This is the scent of the month for November. It is fresh cut evergreens decked with sweet orange and cedar wood. Will this smell like all the rest pine and orange scents? Let's investigate. This, <laughs> I feel like you guys know what I'm gonna say. Uh, I've said this many times on my channel before. This is giving me a little bit of the lumber yard at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. <laughs> like first initial whiff, I was like, we're in the lumber aisle. You go, you guys know my beef with the lumber aisle. <laughs> Some sense, I'm just like, like Mahalo Coconut gives me the lumber aisle vibes. Like, I just don't know what it is. This is like, we're in the lumber aisle, but it's also Christmas. <laughs> like they have the trees next to the lumber aisle. It's not bad it's not like the lumber aisle like I don't hate it um and maybe it's because it's festive lumber like I get the lumber aisle but there's also like a sweetness it has to be the sweet orange part of it maybe it's the cedar wood but 
there's something in the background. It's like maybe the trees are in the aisle over from the lumber. And so you're in the tree aisle, but you just get a hint of the lumber aisle. It, if you guys don't go to like a Home Depot and you're like, I don't know what she's talking about. When you go to buy like two by fours, like wood, <laughs> I, I feel like such a like home renovator. Like just, I feel like in my childhood, we spent a lot of time fixing up our childhood home. Like my parents did a lot of renovations at home. And so we would go like to Home Depot, Lowe's, we had a local lumber yard. Like we would go to these places a lot and we were always buying like, you know, sheets of plywood, two by fours, two by sixes, whatever. Like we we're always buying wood. Jamie's food's going off. And um, it smells very distinct. Like it smells very woody and kind of like sawdusty. And if you know the smell, you know what I'm talking about. And certain scentsy scents really make me feel like I'm back in the lumber yard. So, <laughs> I have to melt this. Um, I don't know where I'm going to melt this because maybe I can do it in my office this afternoon. That might be kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, I, I like this better than certain other lumberyard <laughs> smells I've smelled from Zenzi. But we'll see what happens on warm. Things could change. It's, it's better than I initially thought it was going to be on that initial whiff I was like oh no not another one of these I have uh eight bars coming in my kit but we'll see what happens okay so that is everything sorry this video is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be but officially my whiff box has arrived and here's what I got uh hopefully I would assume these would say mostly the same throughout the month but I think as the month goes on if they um say they run out of like child buddies they may Put different things in so like if you have this in a club that processes at the end of the month there's no guarantee you'll get these same products just fyi so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy the rest of your day hopefully if you've shopped the flash sale you had a successful shopping i got a lot of good things so i'm really excited to share um but yeah i'll see you soon bye guys